Hi everybody, it's Tron here, and we're back with another video of Weekend League pack openings. Um, I was able to get place six this week, and actually excited to open some of these packs because hopefully I can get a rookie premiere. Um, but we'll see what happens. So first pack, a gold. A silver, a gold, and a gold. Alright. Well, Hail Mary. Either win it all or you lose it all. So, silver. Derwin James. That might actually go for something. Onto the midfield. Silver. Team of the week. I'll take it. An elite. So that was a little bit better than the Hail Mary, but that's not why we're here. Um, a gold. So I was thinking uh, rookie premieres. My third choice is not going to be Kyler Murray. Um, we're on the red zones, but I think the smart move to do is probably getting ooh that's a 92 um Devin Bush now I know I just contradicted myself in the last video saying that how I don't like undersized people but I I don't I think um Bush has a 90, 95 or 96 speed. That helps him out a lot. That's a lot of a lot faster than a lot of these middle linebackers that we got at 19. It's faster than Keekly, Bobby, Shazier, you name it. Other, everybody other than Deion Jones and maybe Roquan Smith are the only two I can think of on the top of my head. Ooh, what is this? Marlon Humphrey. That's really amazing. Um... Yeah, so those are the only two I can think that are, I'd say, equivalent to Devin Bush. But, you know, I don't need a D-tackle. I don't need a quarterback. Um, so this is what, why we're here. This pack right here. Please let me know if any of you guys find out that this makes sense. They give you a 92 and a 91. Why? Like, they might as well just give us the coins at that point and not give us an option to choose one of those players because that's just that's just brutal. Like, you worked so hard. So, same analogy before. Um, two coin packs, two touchdown packs. That's what we're doing because I'm not trying to lose all my coins. Um, as I said, I'm going with Devin Bush. Um, as my third option, I already got the right guard. I already got the, I already got the Bosa brother. So Nick Bosa, um, I call him the Bosa brother because I forget his name sometimes. But um, I think he's gonna be good. Nick Bosa is gonna be really good. Kyler Murray is, it's an experiment. Um, the Cardinals took a chance on him. I mean, was he probably the best player in the draft at the time? Probably. I don't think they made a mistake yet. Um, but then again, like, you know, some people can have careers that peak immediately and some people can have careers that peak later on throughout the season, throughout their career, you know? So I'm not, I wish the best for Kyler Murray, um, but he has a lot to live up to, you know? So right here, I got the rookie premiere that I was hoping for, but I was debating whether or not to take that Roger, uh, Saffold. I went on Mudhead, and I think I took the Chris Lindstrom. And, you know, like, I think at this late in the year, you know, if this was, like, two months ago, um, I'd probably take that Roger Staffield. And if that was, like, a 92 of whatever program that they were promoting at the time, I would definitely take that 94. But right now, I want, I want what's going to carry over to Madden 20. Um, 
So yeah, back on that subject, I think uh, rookie premieres are wild right now. Um, prices for NFL draft players skyrocketed. Um, I don't know what it is for you guys that are on different consoles. But for me, like they go, f these rookie, these ninety twos go for like seventy eight thousand coins. So um, each one of these packs, literally, you can sell them and make your coins back easily. Um, is that the smart thing to do? Um, well, here's the thing: if you have a guy that you can sell coins to online. And you're done with Madden like forever. Yes, I would sell the rookie premieres. Get as many coins as you can. Sell all your players. Do all of that. If you're done with Madden eternally. That's what I'm saying. Um, I think for those of you guys that still want to play, I would keep your coins. So that's the route that I would suggest you guys go. Um, is it smart? I don't know. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but if you're done with the game, you're done with the game, right? Like, you don't want to play no more. So, I guess in that case, like, you know, you don't have to empty out your pockets no more throughout the year saying that you want to Randy Moss. Speaking of which, that's a really nice pull. Um... Randy Moss, next year. I'm telling you guys, tall receivers are going to be it next year. Like, the Julio Jones, the Randy Moss, the Keyshawns. Who else am I forgetting? Uh, Chris Carter. <laughs> um, Chris Evans. Matter of fact, that's who I'm going for next year. Chris Evans is 6'5". He doesn't have the best speed, but... High balls are going to be critical next year. From what I've seen in Madden 20, when I played the beta, those are it. Um, I like to think that, you know, some guys like the Jujus that I just pulled. Um, Calvin Ridley's. Odell's. Antonio Brown's. are still. Antonio Brown was such a disappointing card this year. Like, he ate really should have gave him some something more than everybody else that's just my opinion i know he had a you know incident with juju and i think juju respects um juju respects uh i mean ea respects juju more but in my personal opinion i just think like antonio brown as the cover athlete he should just get something more um, but, you know, hopefully Patrick Mahomes doesn't get something as well. That's a nice, really nice pull, Justin Houston. I would have been super crazy if that was the beginning of the year, but, um, that's neither here nor there. So, as you can see, we, we're getting some elites, but not really anything crazy. We didn't get a full Ultimate Legend. We got, like, a really high overall Ultimate Legend, but... Not a full one. Um, these packs, you're just literally 25k just goes into the rookie premiere. I don't know how much it is for you guys to make a elite token right now, but just calculate the cost. Um, if you guys have coins, if you guys have anywhere near 500k, or actually no, because you get 20 packs, so 20, yeah, 500k. I would invest all that 500k into the rookie premiere packs um, and just get your tokens, get a player that you can use next year um, and be smart about it, you know, like as much as you love Madden, think about what EA is doing because EA is moving away from this. There's no reason why you should be staying on it, you know what I mean? Um, I'm looking forward to Madden 20. But EA has not been performing well this year. This is the first Madden I've played on console, so um, my expectations literally can only get better from here. I don't think it's going to be worse because I've seen a lot of people do gameplay on Madden 20, and I've played the beta myself, and I liked it a lot. 
but anything can happen. I just hope that they keep it as is and just let us play, you know? Um, that's what we're here for. Now, I'm happy with Mutt. Like, if I were to give Mutt a rating out of 10, I'd probably give it a 7, maybe an 8. But I just don't like some of the shenanigans that goes along with it, you know? Um, like, why do I, like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, every single time there's a new promo, why does one of the most expensive cards that we want cost, like, 300,000 coins? But then at the end of the year, like, that card goes down to, like, 50k. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed all my packs that I have opened today. Um... My weekend league was a success. I got ranked number six, so I always try to stay in the top ten. Um, anywhere, if even in the top twenty-five, I'm happy. But that's gonna be it. Um, I'm signing off. See you guys later.